when I was 23 or 22, I met my wife, my future wife, and that uh, she was, yeah, not only pretty, she was uh, amazingly vivid and very expressive and talkative and uh, just a beautiful being. You fall in love and you fall and you keep on falling and you want to go and you fly. So 15 years I was with that woman until the day uh, after kissing her uh, uh, four children goodbye uh, uh, from the age of uh, uh, seven to 12 years. And she jumped from eight stories down. That, uh, that is what she did. And because she was suffering from mental disorder, schizophrenia, manic depression, and the whole psychiatry, the world of psychiatry, through all, through all the injections and pills and this and that, because it was declining uh, a mental state. Ten years after the first uh, uh, was born, uh, 30, no, 31, the decline began. Uh, she went to the doctors, etc. Nobody could help her. And, and there, that is a very important point in my life because I lost a, lo a love of my life, the mother of my children, the one with whom I uh, sh uh, should have been all my life. Uh, she went away. I was broken inside, but I had no time nor to heal, nor to sit there with my grief because I had four children, very little money uh, left behind. There, uh, there, there I was. And uh, I always say, my children made me survive. Uh, the cold healed me. Because the cold, the intense pain of going into freezing water makes you shut up in your mind, makes you survive. That was the only moment I got stillness in my mind. Only possibility to get uh, 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 peace in my mind. And that, uh, that broke the loop. That broke the loop of the... Uh, uh, of the grief, of the grieving, and uh, thus I began to regain myself, became very energetic, a lot of energy, I became papa and mama, uh, um, a lot of energy yeah. with the kids, being, little money, mm -hmm. and uh, trying, I began to ride, began to garden, began to become a, a mountain gu a gu a guide, challenges came. And when the challenges came, I said to the television, who came to me first uh, through a newspaper article uh, where I said, yeah, I go into the ice all the time because I love it and I love do exercising and all this. Nobody believed it and they got it into the newspaper. And then television came. And television is crazy because they begin to challenge you. So when they challenged me, I could do everything. I got 26 world records, but numerous more challenges done. And they uh, are all uh, led to the uh, extremes of what a mind and a body is able to do, even past what in science was thought possible, physiologically possible. So uh, I did all these television shows, the National Geographic, Discovery Channel, uh, uh, and more and more and more. I don't know, I, I, I probably have done. Uh, 50 to 100 uh, documentaries now. I did it all. But uh, now they are going to make a Hollywood uh, film. Why is that? That is because mm -hmm. I gained to something. In, uh, in uh, t uh, Three years ago, I was in Detroit in the, in the brain scans. And uh, they gave me uh, cold water upon the skin. I could do nothing. Just use my mind. And I made the skin temperature not going down. That is the power of the mind make, having physical consequences in the body to defy stress coming in, just using the mind. This was unknown in psychiatry. If I would have had that knowledge back then with my wife, then I could have treated her naturally. But I had no power then. But I pledged my uh, uh, oath to my wife. If I'm able to get out of this grief, to get out of where you have been, then I will show the world and all the people who are suffering mentally, I will be able to pass on a natural way uh. of how to get out of your grief. So I'm a dropout, but I'm teaching psychiatrists, doctors, professors all over the world. Why? Because I had a genuine uh, broken heart. I had a genuine uh, simple mind just to be happy and strong and healthy and take care of my children. And this, they didn't let me. 
The society didn't let me. And it has no name and it has no person. You cannot talk to it. But it is still ongoing. So I did something about it. And how? I did not know. But I began to rise and began to walk my steps, little by little by little. And when the television came, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you climb Mount Everest in your shorts? Can you swim under the ice, uh, big distances? Can you run a marathon uh, beyond the polar circle? So I can do it all. Because compared to a grieving heart, it is nothing.